For years, it's taken the TBI lab months and months to process rape kits, something so important to getting justice. So it really is a life-saving thing to get that DNA tested and to make sure that we know who in our community are perpetrating these horrific crimes. Nurses at the SAFE clinic at the Sexual Assault Center delicately gather DNA evidence from sexual assault victims. They swab anywhere that there may be DNA. They take photos. They measure any uh, contusions or bruises or any rips or tears. Uh, and those are photographed. And those are highly personal photographs that are taken. DNA in an unprocessed rape kit belonged to the person suspected of killing and kidnapping Memphis teacher Eliza Fletcher. Came back the day after her body was found. So if you think about how many things could be different and Eliza Fletcher could potentially be alive if his rape kit had been tested even just a couple weeks before. Near this somber anniversary, we thought it was important to check on turnaround times. We found at the state lab, they're down from 45 weeks in the summer of 2022 to less than 10 weeks this past July. And in that same time frame, 47 lab workers have been hired and most are trained. With funding from the state, the TBI hopes to have a total of 50 people processing kits in 2025. And the people that come forth for a rape kit, it's not an easy thing to do. For their sake, time is of the essence. In Nashville, Hannah McDonald, News Channel 5.